We are here to talk about the area of a trapezium. And before we have a look at the formula, and again, this is a formula you will not have to remember because I will show you uh, why it looks the way it does, okay? But before we do that, it's always good to, to revise our understanding of what makes a trapezium a trapezium, yeah? So I sketch a trapezium here, and why is this a trapezium? Well, a trapezium is a quadrilateral, first of all. So, a two-dimensional figure with four sides, or four angles. Yeah, so let's have a look. One, two, three, four sides. So it is a quadrilateral. And on top of that, a trapezium has one pair of parallel sides. Yeah? And I drew the little arrows there. I have one pair of parallel sides. Okay? And that's why this figure is a trapezium. Now, what is the formula to find the area of a trapezium? So, the inside, let me just quickly sketch that. So, the area of a trapezium, well, that is the sum of the parallel sides divided by 2 times the height, where the height is that perpendicular height, yeah, so um, the shortest distance between those two parallel sides. Okay, so again, I'm not interested in the slanted height, I'm interested in a 90 degree angle and then the height. Okay, so I am a little bit lazy, yeah, and it's good sometimes. So instead of writing down, you probably can't even read what I wrote down, instead of writing down the sum of the two parallel sides divided by two times the height, I rather write down so the area equals the sum. And then I do two of these lines, yeah, which is the symbol of parallel lines. Yeah, so the sum, yeah, the addition of those two lines, divided by two times the height. Okay, and I'd like to show you um, in the next video why that formula looks the way it does, because that is not something that you have to remember because you understand the formula, okay? And then you can always use it and apply it. So go to the next video where I will explain this formula. See you there.